here's a quick overview of how coffee is harvested. When it comes to picking the coffee cherries, there are two ways this is done, strip picking or hand picking. Strip picking can be done by machine or by hand. With this method, all the coffee cherries are like stripped from the tree at the same time, regardless of their maturity level. This method is definitely a lot quicker and easier, but there is a higher risk of unripe and defective coffee being taken to the next level of processing. So it's quick, but it compromises the cherries. Now selective hand picking ensures only ripe cherries are chosen, leading to superior coffee with refined flavors. Despite the extra cost and time, we know that the care and attention given by expert pickers, like those at the Ramirez Estate, lead to superior coffee. So the next step of your coffee beans journey is the drying process. There are different methods of drying, but we'll briefly cover two popular methods, the washed wet process and then the natural dry process. So the washed wet processing method involves soaking the coffee cherries and allowing fermentation to take place. When they bring the coffee, we're gonna pour the coffee in there and then at the start of each tunnel we have taps and we're gonna open them, the coffee's gonna go down like getting washed. And then the coffee that has defects, that's black, that was beaten, that's broken, those are lighter so they're gonna stay floating okay. and the other one is gonna sink. So the one that stays floating goes to the middle area because we still use it, but it's like a low quality type. And after the coffee is gonna go up to that machine that has a green label, and then we're gonna peel the coffee there. And then we're gonna bring the coffee to a yellow um, hopper because we're gonna drain the water to reuse the water here okay. and then to the drying areas. Right here we have the wash process. This coffee is gonna take four to five days to get dry. After that time, we're gonna bring also the coffee in to peel it with a machine, and then we're gonna sort the coffee by the quality. This one has a defects there, it's like okay. partially black, uh -huh. so this one is gonna go to the low quality type. Okay. The flavor of the resulting coffee is more pure than other methods and is unaffected by the coffee cherry. Now with the natural dry process, once the coffee cherries have been picked, they are spread out in the sun to dry on raised beds or large patios. The cherries are turned repeatedly to help them dry evenly. As they dry, the cherries' natural sugars infuse the beans, resulting in a fruity and full-bodied flavor. Right here we have the natural drying process. This coffee is gonna take 18 to 25 days to get dry. And during that time, the seed is gonna absorb flavors from the shell. And at the end, this type of coffee is gonna be fruitier, sweeter, and higher in acidic. And then after that time, we're gonna, we're gonna peel it. <laughs> and this side, we have uh, a low quality type. That one was beaten by an insect. So once we sort the coffee by the quality, this one is gonna go to the low one. Okay. And here we have a good one. And they're huge. Now many coffee connoisseurs consider the wet processed coffee superior to dry unwashed or dry processed natural coffee, but this is clearly a matter of personal preference. Adriana then showed me the meticulous care that went into grading and sorting coffee beans. The dried coffee beans undergo grading and sorting based on size, weight, and visual quality. Defective beans, including those with unacceptable size, color, flaws, over fermentation, insect damage, and the, the ones that are unholed are removed. And in many countries, this process is carried out both by machine and by hand, ensuring that only the finest quality coffee beans are selected. The machines usually do the initial work and then the highest grades of coffee coffee are lastly sorted by hands to ensure lower grade coffee doesn't make it into the final batch. So if you've ever wondered why specialty coffee is so much more expensive than grocery store coffee, this is one of the many factors that affect its price. Just look at the difference in these two examples of lower grade versus higher grade coffee beans that Adriana showed me. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> the green coffee beans are then exported to various parts of the world. This takes us to the next part of the journey where the fun begins. 